Oh, hecky! Hecky, heck, heck, heck. I'm actually doing this 2000 or Good. I need to switch my setup to my other computer so that I at least do this more consistently because I think the thing that keeps me is that I have to switch computers. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, it's a good song, man. I just wanted to have something a little bit more peppy than the Martyr song, which is so sad. Ah! I can't take the sad, man. Man, you know, <laughs> everyone hates on Reza, everyone thinks Reza an asshole, but at the same time, it's like the player character essentially gets the better end of the deal in most situations. Like, the player character doesn't even get arrested or anything. Like, nothing bad happens to you. <laughs> like, I'm sure it's Reza, but Reza at the same time, he has a reason and a point. Like, can you blame him? It looks like the adventure disappears. So, considering this was my first ending, it's like... It's a bit of a mind-screwy first ending. Which is the part that gets me a lot. Is this is the first ending you can get, and it's like... The whole thing is a twist. Because if you get this ending, um, you have this impression that you're the loop and you're going to be doing this now. Oh, no. Which is weird because this is the exact ending where you see this and he fails. Oh no. Oh no, why does it say her? The administrator is generalist, isn't I? Oh no, Izumi is seen. Oh, this is not the Izumi ending. Okay. I guess I got mixed up, sorry. Where's this fucking baller? Oof. I like how he shoots a Dean first. <laughs> Why doesn't he miss? Like, Razzle is a crack fucking shot. Like, the only person he really misses is you, isn't it?
Yeah, this is such a fucking... I love this ending, because it's like Reza Baller actually pulls it off. And at the same time, he kind of fucks off afterwards. He's like, eh, I'm done here. Yeah, this is like the shittiest... It's one of the shitty endings to get. Yeah, why doesn't why doesn't he get a little bit sassy? Like, make him a little bit sassy. Like, you know, how well, we want to see how big the risk is now, cause, cause he's probably a bit angry, and you're gonna get sassy when you're angry. Although he seems to be getting more focused. Hmm, I might remove that in the second pass. I like how Mar he yeah, he's getting fucking sassy. Cause he's like rubbing it in. Yeah, Adine's imagery is really mighty, probably because he wasn't even aiming for her. Like what risk is she? She's a flyer indoors, he probably knows they're not that great. If you get this ending, why would you ever play again? Because this ending, he Reza just wins by such a landslide, it's like, why even bother? Like, maybe it inspires you to think, like, next time I'll get him, but at the same time, you have to do other endings to get... <sighs> Such a nice little ending to this boss song. I wanna play this game someday. I don't know when though. Because I don't really have a schedule and I need someone to pressure me to do stuff. I really do. I work better under when someone tells me what to do and it's like, go do this thing, you dumbass. It has to be specific enough that I know what to do. Which is kind of my biggest flaw is I, I, I do stuff good, but I need to be told what to do first. I'm not lazy. I'm just very inert. Very, very inert. I'm changing this a little bit, but more to be like, probably. Like, you make a lot of, like, flat statements, which... I feel like this would work fine if there was a point in the ending, which might be there, if, now that I think about it, where this is all a recap. If this is a recap, you can have this kind of shit. But you can't otherwise.
Now, I want you to think about this really hard. You're going back in time, you're messing with space-time for what? To save both humanity and an ancient empire of dragons. Like, humanity is just one settlement that you're really saving. So, it, like, why should you care about them? Okay, we're almost there, actually. I'll, I'll just do this, I guess. Yeah, man, like, damn. Now, a lot of people would say that you want to do more like this, but at the same time, it's like, if you do this with everyone, if everyone has, like, this first date thing that they're going to recall later, one, you have to write very clumsily, and two, everyone's going to be like, oh, this is the point where they care about. It's more interesting if you just put it in, in like, different scenarios, like, um, there's a way to make Bryce wake up, and that is what he remembers, is like, ah, you wake up with pepper. Maybe how about you use some pepper on yourself and wake up? Okay, I need to I need to actively look this up because I actually don't know what I put in there. Like this is like just the fucking earliest date. God, I hate that it's Oh, that's interesting. They actually included a little thing. Okay, so I know where it is, so I need to look for 8-something. Eight 800-something. Eight something. Okay, here we got it, we got it, we got it. I actually just need this. Man, that's the weirdest way to say goodbye, by the way. It's like, I'll see you in a better... What? What? Will I even be me? Will someone else be me? Am I me? Are you me? Oh, man, I can't.
Oh, we're Prophecy. We're actually playing a different song now. Whoops! You know what I really like? Is if there's an ending which specifically points out that, by the way, when you do this, there's only one timeline. Like, I Izumi or someone shows up and goes, I've been doing some calculations. It could even be Ipsum. Like, I wouldn't be, I would actually be okay if Ipsum, like, shows up and goes, I've done a lot of calculations. Like, there's a lot of shit going on in time space. Like, after ten endings or so, he goes, you know, I get the strange feeling there's only one timeline. And all this shit that's been going on, like, there's something going on. There's only one timeline, so if you fuck up, you fucked up. There needs to be a closed loop. Um, so there's only one one timeline. So he goes, well, if, if, if someone goes back in time, that timeline ceases to be. And every single consciousness basically goes back with it. Um, and because the barrier is getting weaker, those that rewinding of brains doesn't perfectly work. Like, in teleportation, you lose some of your memory. You get some sort of amnesia. But what if you go back uh, in time like this? It, al it also weakens. So you remember more when it teleport, you remember more when you go back. That kind of stuff. That'd be cool. It would kind of get in the way of the multiverse, but it'd also be kind of neat. If there really only was one timeline, and you're never told, it's like, well, if you fuck up, we're all dead. Again, I think this line doesn't make sense because of Reza. I guess it makes sense that Reza might have his own coordinates, like, sort of typed in. But wouldn't it be more interesting if you at least include the line, by the way, this is a lie, don't try to correct this because it doesn't add up, like, with the Reza ending, but whatever. Although, I guess that is one of the lorms, isn't it? So I'm going to include the line with so bad. By the way, that would also mess things up a lot. So I'm, acute, so I'm getting rid of only I can use them. It's like, oh, the coordinates are stuck to my biological data. So it's like, it's already... Yeah. So it already has the only I can use them thing. But then it's like, but besides that, if you come, this is going to be very complicated. Like, you don't go back in time with the intent of, like, anything. Like, Azumi makes it clear that you're supposed to be looping. More than anything. I mean, it's not, like, a necessary detail, but it is something that to be implied and is more logical reason for, for a dean to be like, okay... Also, wouldn't it be great if, like, after you get all the endings and you do a bad ending, like, your character's like, what the fuck did I just do? I love all these people and I ruined their lives. Like, it'd be great if, like, in one of them system, like, stays behind or something. It's like, by the way, we're going, when you go back in time, everything resets. Like, maybe they go through the shock of, like, actually seeing themselves go back in time in a flash. Wouldn't that be great? Wouldn't that be an interesting topic, like, everyone gets trauma from this? Like, not, like, severe trauma, but they're like, I remember things, and they're weird. So, we did a Dean's ending in one go. That's nice. Or two goes, actually. Um, what is the Dean's endings? They are the beach. That's nice. Um, we have the map. That's also a good one. We have Emily. That's also a good one. Oh, I like the map. The map's the clue, isn't it? Because he, he wants to put clues in there, I guess. Uh, we got CG Dean 2, which I think is her flying. Chapter graphics. Uh, no, that's flying. Oh, it's here with the box. Oh, th why would you pick the sad picture? Bah! Getaway, yeah. <laughs> like, I was always, like, so happy about it. So next time...
Oh, I just dropped the box. Damn! So next time, Reza goes from being Ace McGrace to being Slag McDag. <laughs>